Well, hey there. In this episode, we're going to talk about the three easy steps to eliminate the number one problem to supersizing your business. Now, yesterday, I dropped a little bit of a bombshell on you, letting you know that the number one problem to growing or supersizing your business or creating anything that you want in your life is you. I know, it kind of hurts, doesn't it? But the flip side of that, the good news to all that is if you are the number one problem or obstacle or challenge in growing and supersizing your business, guess what? You are also the solution, the solution, the solution. So if you're the solution, what are the three steps that you can take right now, immediately start doing to ensure that you are not the problem, you are not the bottleneck, you are not the thing that is preventing your business, your baby from growing to the size and the shape and the the characteristics that you want, that you desire most. Well, I like nature, so I like to do nature type analogies. So think about growing. And the first step in growing anything is to plant the seed. So you need to create a clear vision, a clear direction, a clear objective for yourself, number one, and then for all of the other people that you bring into your organization and that help you create the supersized business that you want. Newsflash. Nobody creates a giant, supersized business, however you define that, in a vacuum by themselves. Nobody creates a business by themselves. We got to have customers. We got to have people that are going to pay us for our products and services. So we have to know that. We have to paint the picture, paint the vision, and make sure we're being clear about what it is that we can do for the people that we can help or serve. So we want to plant the seeds by having a clear, focused vision for ourself first and then for everyone else that we need to help us to grow and supersize our business. Step two is all about facilitating that process, watering the seed, feeding the seed, making sure the plant grows, making sure it has enough sunlight, making sure it's protected from the you know, environment in, in case we have like an early frost or something. We live in Wisconsin, so that's very ha- that can happen very easily. But we wanna facilitate that. And the way we facilitate that is through our own personal growth and development. Maybe we model other people's behaviors and success and what's working for them. We don't copy it, but we model it. We learn from them and then we ask ourselves, does that fit for me? Is that something that would help me move myself and my business forward? We have coaches. We have, um, we take courses. We learn things. We grow. We look at other industries. We figure out what's working and we develop ourselves and make ourselves better because our organizations will only grow as fast as we'll let them. So that means we have to grow and expand and be the person that can lead that organization or be the person that can do something else a little later in the steps. But we need to be able to facilitate that and and create a team, bring the people in that we need to create what it is that we want, how we want to define and grow and supersize our business. And the third step has everything to do with monitoring our progress and watching our business grow, watching our plant grow. Um, Again, monitoring and making sure and and watching results and and having key performance indicators, things that we watch and we know that we're on the right track. And then if we find that we're not on the right track, because let's be honest, we all go off track and off course sometimes whenever we're creating or doing anything, that we can self-correct and we can get back on track to where it is we wanna go. Part of that is again, from the first step, knowing where it is that you want to go, creating that clear vision of what it is that you're trying to create for yourself and for others. And then moving toward that. And then as you're moving toward that, monitor, are you on track? Did you take a a left turn when you should have gone right? Did you get involved with a partner that was really not a good fit? And so you need to back out of that and move to a different partner, a different strategy that's working better for you. And that's it. And then finally, we're going to, as a bonus, harvest and get the results that we're trying to achieve with our business or our plant or our crop or our growth or whatever it is we're doing. Um, And the bonus is that sometimes you just need to get the hell out of the way. Sometimes you have to recognize that you are the bottleneck to a certain part of your business growing. You are the problem and you just have to step back. doesn't mean you're giving up any control or or anything because that's a biggie for a lot of us entrepreneurs. It just means that you need to know when to call in the right resources and the right help and have someone else do things that aren't necessarily the, the things that you're a genius at because starting your business and having the idea, that might be your genius part, but actually implementing the details of that business You might be like me and you just stink at that. 
I am really good at getting ideas and getting people rolling on them. But when it comes to the day-to-day -day detailed operations of things, I need to just get the heck out of the way and let other people do the things that they're awesome at. So those are our three easy steps to solve the number one problem, to eliminate that problem once and for all, knowing that that problem is you. And you don't have to eliminate as in get rid of yourself in the organization, but you do have to make sure that you're not the biggest obstacle, you're not in the way. And we do that by being clear on what we want, by continuously improving and growing and doing personal development work and looking for answers, and then by monitoring and facilitating and putting those answers and those things that we learn in place in our organizations to help it grow and be the amazing entity that we all want it to be because we're all here to change the world, right? That's it. Have a fantastic day. I will see you, of course, or be with you tomorrow with another cool way to supersize and grow your business to create the life that you want. Bye. Have an awesome day.